there is a lot of awesome software out there to utilize, but free software is even better. So here's the top six free software every PC needs. Starting off with Driver Booster, this is a free piece of software that I tend to install whenever I'm setting up a new computer for the first time. It's not a piece of software I have on my system at all times. What it does in a nutshell is scans your system hardware and finds the latest drivers. So if I'm to do it now, you'll see that there probably isn't anything for me to do. However, it can scan them and let you know which aren't up to date, you can then update them all. The reason I don't have this installed all the time is one, it tries to run in the background a whole lot. It also gives you pop-up ads occasionally, which is just not very pleasant. However, it is a good piece of software that works well. Next up is Revo Uninstaller. Great piece of software. In my case, I do have the paid version, but the free software works just as well. Funnily enough, we're gonna use Driver Booster 11 as the example here and uninstall it. You can choose to create a full registry backup as well as a full system restore backup before the uninstall. I don't tend to select these, um, but what you can do is just continue through and it's going to uninstall everything. Now the difference between using the software and using the control panel uninstall software that comes with your Windows operating system is this also goes and finds leftover files and registry items. Now if you don't uninstall using this, they will be left there and over time as you install more things, they will slow your PC down. See, after uninstalling Driver Booster, we're left with all of these registry items that otherwise would not be removed, even with the uninstall. So if we go select all and delete, yes, I would like to delete all selected items. So this is a full uninstall. And same with the leftover files. There is a ton of leftover files here. It looks like it hasn't even been uninstalled. So we can delete all. And that is gonna delete it completely from the system and not leave anything behind. So as you can see there, extra 121 megabytes, all these files, folders, and registry keys were not uninstalled with the uninstaller. Next up is WinRAR, a great tool that I've been using for a long, long time. It's completely free. You do get a little pop-up, but that's pretty much it. Um, link will be in the description for this one as well. Uh, and then you have your option of uh, either download, which is for 64-bit, or click here for 32. If you're unsure on what system, version you have, definitely check that out before you go and download it. Very straightforward and it's just a great tool to, to archive and decompress files and things like that. VLC, an awesome video media player, runs as many formats as you can think of. Not running into any issues with playing videos that you might run into with the stock standard video player that Windows comes with. This has a lot of inbuilt things that you may or may not use in the future, such as sending video to a Chromecast from your computer for whatever reason. Um, ton of ton of extra features and of course completely free. Hardware Monitor is a great piece of software for monitoring everything from system temps uh, to performance to figure out if there may be anything wrong with your computer or just to see what sort of temperatures your components are running at just in case you need more airflow or to figure out anything like that. Their website does have a bunch of ads but once you get here all you need to do is click the setup English. This is both 32 and 64 bit versions otherwise you can get the zip file if you would prefer and then all you need to do is click download. So here's the software as you can see there's a lot of information so don't let it overwhelm you especially if you don't know much about computers. Find the component that you're worried about so in my case if I'm looking at clocks on the CPU I can see the current value the minimum and the maximum if all of these were down to like a thousand megahertz or something crazy and then it was maxing out at 5,000, you could look at that and say, hey, that doesn't look quite right and I have been having issues. That could be the, 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 uh, that could be the cause. Be aware that with newer chips, you do have performance cores and efficiency cores. So in case this case, my performance cores are running at five mega, uh, my performance cores are running at five gigahertz or 5,000 megahertz, and then the efficiency ones are running at close to 4,000. That's completely normal, nothing wrong with that, but at first glance, you might think that there's quite a difference there, which there is, and it's expected. Going down, I can also see the temperatures of my SSD, voltage of my graphics card, the temperature of that, as you can see right now, the hottest point on it is 61.6 degrees Celsius, and the GPU overall is 49 degrees. And of course, if you go tools and then options, you can change it to Fahrenheit if that's what you prefer. Now for the six pieces of software, 
Now for the sixth piece of software, we actually have three, which is the AMD Adrenaline, NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and the Intel Arc pieces of software. Obviously, you only need to install one depending on what type of graphics card you have. Each gives additional settings and options for your graphics card and are worth installing. I'll have the links for all pieces of software down in the description, including all three of these pieces of software for your graphics card, as well as a link to one of my previous videos which shows installing it.